Hey there YouTube, this is the Redstone Warrior here, wanting to say I'm back. I was one of the administrators on the RDF for 8 months, left for 2 months, came back, and I have an entire year's worth of redstone creations to show you guys. Here's my most recent project. It's a fully functional word processor in Minecraft. It has a 12 by 4 display, so 12 characters in 4 different rows, and a fully functional keyboard added to it. This is one of the most speed, space, and lag efficient processors I've seen in Minecraft. Word processors, that is. Okay, it has a full QWERTY keyboard, including a number pad, with all these modes. So, let's see. We have enabled disabled keyboard. So if I step on this, that bit should come down. Oh, server lag. Yep, okay. So if I step on that key, keyboard enabled, we'll go up or down. So if that piece of green wool is up, the keyboard is currently enabled, or if it's down, it will be disabled. Now that's useful for when you have people on a big multiplayer server who like to jump on things. So as you can see my friend here, he likes jumping on things. What this would do, it would print a whole bunch of empty characters which I really wouldn't want to happen. So you have the enable disable key. Okay, the next one. You have control. These bits will work when you disable the keyboard, but it won't affect the screen. So you hit control, let's hit shift while we're at it, and these keys pop up. Now actually, control is not used in this version. Control is... oop, he's stepping on control. Control is actually used in a future version, it's going to be used in a future version when this is actually hooked up to greater things than what you see now. Okay, so we have shift and shift lock. Now, shift, as you know, is basically you hit shift and it does stuff. And by that I mean it changes the character. So if you have things like uh, two, or double quotation mark versus single, you have colon, semicolon, question mark, slash, period, comma, yada yada. You also have the number keys. Now, why isn't that caps lock? That's shift lock, not caps lock. Well, the reason I named it shift lock, more appropriately, is because it do we don't have caps in the system. I actually used a really efficient 6-bit character system, but I didn't include lowercase characters. The reason for this is that in a future project, those will just mess up people and get in the way. The system I have right now, as I'll show you in a moment over there, is computationally easier for the computer to deal for a computer to deal with, and it's less confusing. This is a very efficient system. Okay, so back to this. You have shift lock, which makes it so that shift doesn't reset when you hit a key. So if shift lock is on, yada yada. If I turn that off, and I turn shift on, shift is actually off now. Let me change that. So now if I hit that, shift will reset. There we go. And it works. Okay. So every single key on this keyboard has a function. So up, down, left, right, home, page, page up, page down, and escape, tab, enter, it all does something. So let's see. I'm back, RSW, Heart the RDF, or Redstone Development Foundation. Let's enable the keyboard. Oop, more server lag. Give it a moment. There we go. Okay, so we enable the keyboard. Now it's running, so let's replace that with a K. This keyboard is also extremely F1 mode friendly for any of you YouTubers who may want to make a video. Oop. I stepped on one too many, so this may actually produce an empty character next to this. Nope, it ignored the second input. It will do that sometimes. Now, let's say you do mess up. Let's say you do hit too many characters or you parkour. Well, it's not in parkour mode. Worst case, what will happen is it will print some empty characters, or it might have some dead pixels, which you can just reset by telling it, oh, um, write an, write a, uh, at symbol here. Okay, so what this did, uh, it wrote two s symbols and crap symbols. Okay, you want to get rid of them? With the exception of that one block right there, which I believe is a block drop, you can simply fix these by hitting backspace twice. So, that one block there may not go away. It didn't go away. So, how would you fix this? You'd find a character, like M, which goes in that area. This is absolute worst case. You shouldn't need to deal with this. So let's say I hit X. Now that's going to print an X. And now what you need to do is you need to hit backspace and everything's fixed. So this is pretty user-friendly and pretty easy to repair on the keyboard. Okay, 
So let's say your cursor goes out of range. This happens rarely, but it can happen. Hit the escape key, and it brings you all the way back up to the top left corner. Unfortunately, it can take a second, mostly because it's doing two operations, but it's fairly fast. So, very fast typer, F1 friendly, and it looks wonderful, you have to admit. This is just a wonderfully aesthetically pleasing keyboard. Alright, there are multiple modes. Uh, as a side note, when using this, this is rapid clear. If you switch this lever, it will start a clock and it will set every character to space. Only use that if you really want to clear this quickly. It can produce some unstable behavior and it's not heavily tested. Alright, so enter mode. Let's say you just... Let's say you just go over a couple, so hit that key, hit that again, hit one, hit four, hit seven, and that all should have typed perfectly. And there we go, it typed perfectly. Okay, um, the reason you saw two lines for a moment it's not because this machine is slightly broken, it's because you will not always visually get an update in the time you need. Uh, essentially, if you're far away from piston screens, you don't see the change immediately. It works though, so yes. So you're over there. Let's say you want to go to new line, enter. Watch that for a moment. And the line goes down a line, and then it goes over there. Very good system to type on. It's fast, it's easy to type on. Very nice. Okay, so I'll quickly get into the how this actually works before I go. You have the character bank over here, which stores all 64 characters this uses. It's pretty neat. Uh, here's another version over here, the first version I created. And it's aesthetically pleasing as everything else is. This one's actually hooked up to a screen right now. The decoder's on the bottom, that selects which character you're using, and yada yada, yeah. So you can actually see this bus right here. This is the character going into, into the uh, decoder. So that actually selecting the current character. These are the control lines. These tell the counter, which holds your position, to go which way wherever you need to go. Some more busing. This goes for, out of the ROM bank into the display. And as you can see, this is a series of buses which bus the signal up. Every single character is actually an array of memory cells. So you save the character into wherever it is, and it's a very efficient system. The busing on this actually is really fast. I was very careful in designing this. This is, I think, the third iteration I've built, but this is by far the most efficient. Essentially, these are this is a five by five grid of gl red uh, glows. Sorry, uh, glowstone lamps going upwards. It's five by five, so that holds the character. Now, one of the best features of this is this keyboard is not laggy. This is a very easy on your computer system. The reason? It actually is only busing the character up one line, rather than busing it throughout. So anyone who's created large redstone builds knows lag is a serious problem. So essentially, this has disablers, so no updates except for the one row you're dealing with. So that basically sums up the system. It looks quite dashing, I should say, maybe even smashing at that, and it's one of the best, most efficient systems I've seen today. Uh, about what this is for, this is actually going to be for a very large computer project, which hopefully should bring redstone to people who do not really need to understand it. Uh, quick sign, this is actually the code I used, so if anyone wants to try to recreate this, you can actually just come on the server and see it yourself. This is on the RDF, or the RDF.net server. We are the largest redstone server around. Great administration, you can join if you can pass a trial, and visitors are free to roam around. Here's another display of the character set. There's the character bank, and that's basically what I have to show you. Well, this is Redstone Warrior here, saying thanks for watching, and good night.